All right, hey everybody, here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing these two waters. First up is Sanavi Natural Electrolyte Water. And next up is 20 ounce water, or ounce water 20, however you want to read that. And so we're going to start off by doing a pH test comparison of these two waters, and then, you know, find out which one tastes better also. So here's the, the chart for the pH levels, and... Uh, Here's my little dropper. So neither of these two advertise their pH level. So it's really a mystery going in. Okay. So let's mix them up. They're both uh, looking not that good. They're both looking pretty acidic to me. Uh, here's the chart. I'm colorblind, so you guys decide for yourself what they look like. But to me, they both look like sixes, uh, which is not that good. But that's just the pH level. This is actually one of the most expensive water comparisons that I've ever done. I bought both of these online, and when you buy waters online, it ends up being expensive. Uh, because I don't know any stores that sell either of these that are nearby. Sana V, or however you pronounce it, was $15 for a 12 pack. This is from Amazon. And ounce water was $21.50 for a 4 pack. So this is over $5 per bottle for this ounce water. Um, they do sell this in stores in New York, but I didn't want to go all the way to New York just to get this water, so I bought it online. Uh, the 20 ounce water, the company also sells a 40 ounce version, and I think this is actually pretty cool branding, to be honest. Um, it's like nice and bold, good color choices, they have like shiny labels on the side, but it's like, it's like subtle, it's not in your face, it's like very subtle and good, uh, you know, good bottle and everything. The Sauna V1, just from the outside, just for the branding... Um, there's nothing that's special about it. This doesn't, if I saw this on the shelf, nothing would stick out about it. It actually looks very similar to the core water. The bottle is almost like exactly the same. And, you know, they both have a big drop of water on the label. Like nothing that's special about either of these as far as the branding goes. But I'm going to do a taste test and decide which one I think tastes better. Uh, Sonavi is... A Latin word it's supposed to mean health and life. No smell at all, which is a good sign. Water, I don't think it should have any smell to it, but here's the taste. It's pretty good. No, 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 no taste to it at all. No aftertaste. No, like... No strong plasticky taste to it. So it's, it's a good water. It's like, uh, yeah, just clean. Here's the 20 ounce. It's like clearly a thick plastic, and just the way, this sounds weird, but the way that the light just reflects off of it makes it just look good. pretty good they do 20 ounce bottles because they say that you're supposed to have 80 ounces a day which I don't even necessarily agree with that uh, in my mind I think you should drink water whenever you feel thirsty because different people are different sizes different people work out different amounts and sweat different amounts like, if it's winter, should you drink the same amount of water as you drink in the summer when you're sweating a lot? Um, I, I, don't, I don't know if that's a good advice to drink 80 ounces every day. I think you should just do it when you're thirsty. But they also do the 40-ounce the bottle. For that, you just drink two a day. But I bought four of these 20 ounces. Uh, so they kind of expect you to spend... $21 every day if you're getting all your water from this source. 
And it's also not that great of a vice because you, you don't get all your liquids from drinking water. Like, if you eat soup, you're also getting liquids from that. If you, you know, most foods have some water in them. So, it's not like water is your only source. Um, okay, so this, this water is from New York City. And that's where there's, like, the stores that it's sold in is located. Uh, they have a map on their website, and it's it's all in, like, around New York and New Jersey. Um, in, like, in uh, groups of people who drink beer and alcohol and malt liquor and stuff, there's a game called Edward Forty Hands, where you take a 40-ounce bottle of malt liquor and, uh, you wrap duct tape around your hand and around the bottle and the idea is you have to drink the whole thing quickly because your hand starts hurting because it's so cold and that's Edward Forty Hands is the game and um, some people on social media were posting pictures of this and like making jokes about malt liquor because if you buy a 40 ounce of malt liquor it's referred to as a 40 ounce um, so it's good marketing because it got them known like you know it got people on social media talking about this bottle all right not much else to say about either of these um, the Sanavi water So I'm going to say that between these two, the uh, the winner is the Sonavi water. This is mainly just going on the taste. Um, I think as far as the marketing and the, the advertising and the logo goes, I think this one is better. But as far as the taste goes, this one is just, just better in my opinion. Uh, this company also sells a flavored version of their water again a variety of different flavors but this one's moving on to the next round so congratulations Sanavi or whatever you're called however, however that's pronounced 